two senators are calling for an investigation into whether some companies use deceptive tactics to help people buy influence on social media. According to the New York Times, a number of businesses are selling millions of fake Twitter followers to celebrities and other people. The paper says some of the followers are the stolen identities of real users and other people who do not exist at all. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN is here with how officials are taking action. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. You might be impressed by the number of followers of some of your favorite celebrities, sports figures, and politicians, but how many of those followers are the real thing? There are companies devoted to giving anyone new followers at a price. And now there are questions about whether that practice constitutes fraud. I want you to come out here and follow everyone. There's so many people to follow. This promotional video for Twitter highlights the importance of followers on the social network. This is awesome! I'm going to follow you and I'm going to follow you! But according to a New York Times report, followers have become so valued that people are willing to pay for them, whether they're real or not. Dan Ackerman is an editor at CNET. Most of the time, the fake followers are what we would call bots. They're, they're artificial people. They're either created from a database of names and photos, or they're automatically copycatted from real accounts just with a slightly different name. One company that's come under scrutiny is Davumi. It promises to accelerate your social growth. From trending tweets to viral videos, we make it happen. They have a bunch of packages listed. You could start with just 500 followers for $10, and they'll get you those within a couple of days. The Times analysis found that Davumi draws from an estimated stock of at least 3.5 million automated accounts, and at least 55,000 of the accounts use the names, profile pictures, hometowns, and other personal details of real Twitter users, including minors. On Tuesday, Two senators sent a letter to the Federal Trade Commission asking them to investigate the deceptive and unfair marketing practices by Davumi and similar companies. New Yorkers deserve to have their identities protected. The New York State Attorney General's office has also opened its own investigation. What sort of answers are you looking for from Davumi? We want to know what they were selling. We want to know what their procedures were and how they did it. Davumi's founder denies his company stole social identities or sold fake followers. He told the New York Times, the allegations are false and we do not have knowledge of any such activity. Still, the Chicago Sun-Times pulled reviews by film critic Richard Roper. After allegations, he bought 25,000 Davumi Twitter followers. Roper did not return our request for comment. If you are a person on social media or an influencer who, who buys a lot of these followers, then you turn around and sell your services to a brand or a company as somebody who's important on social media, the people you're working for might feel like they're paying for something they didn't get, a popular person who's really only followed by ghosts. In a statement, Twitter told CBS this morning, Davumi's alleged tactics violate our policies and are unacceptable to us. We are working to stop them and any companies like them. Davumi did not return our request for comment. It is interesting, though, when you log on to its site and now try to purchase Twitter followers, the website says the service is unavailable. I mean, this is advertising fraud. You have people who are selling themselves yeah. as a brand to companies to make money, and there's nothing there, ghosts, as, as was said in the piece. The Attorney General of New York says that the Internet is the greatest tool for democracy, but it is being uh, destroyed by this opaque pay-to-play system that creates an alternate reality. Thank you, Vlad. That's great, Vlad.